Hello everyone and welcome back to Lux and Wine. My name is Caitlin. If you're new here, welcome. I'd be so excited if you'd subscribe. I am doing a very special unboxing today and I actually have two boxes. Um, there is the main one here, but I unboxed this YSL camera bag in my last video. And when I unboxed it, I showed you guys the tassel was a little bit um, kinked. So I have the replacement tassel from uh, my associate page at the YSL in Dallas. So I thought I would start by showing you that first. So I have a very unglamorous box cutter. Oh yeah, this already looks better. Oh yeah, perfect. So there we go. Now I have my replacement tassel, so excellent work. Thank you YSL for standing behind that and fixing that. After carrying it for a couple of days with it kinked, I can definitely see how this is going to be a little bit testy. Anyways, that's gonna be awesome. That one looks way better and doesn't have any kinked tassels, so that'll be great. So if you get one that has a messed up tassel, just let your associate know and request another one. No problem, I'm gonna move on from that. Okay, so the star of this video is this bag from Pollen, which I'm super excited about. It came super quickly, I think it took about seven days because I ordered it on a weekend, but I think their standard shipping is about five days. Once I pull out the box, you guys are probably, maybe I'll pull it backwards. Yeah, it says what it is in the box. So you guys can probably tell by the size, it's a smaller box. This is Numero Un Mini. So I'm very excited about this. I originally saw this on Minx For All or Mini's channel and I actually thought this was a Celine bag for the longest time. I thought it was a luxury bag and I had no idea that I was completely missing out. This one is more in the contemporary price point and they have really beautiful packaging. Look at that. Just as if you were getting it from a luxury house and spending a lot more money than what this was. Oh, and it's wrapped in bubble wrap, so it's not in its dust bag, but this is the dust bag, which is really nice. Wow, it's really thick, nice like canvas material. Oh, and that's why I could hear it. I kept, I, I was hearing something. So it's the Numero Un Mini and I got it in the gray with gold hardware. Oh yeah. Wow, this color is so gorgeous. It's actually a little bit bigger in person than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like a mini, mini bag, but it's really not that small. I actually really like the size. And um, I'm excited to see, to try it on with the chain and kind of feel that. I got the, like I said, I got the gray with the gold hardware. It also has, oh, these are beautiful, four feet. And the hardware, I have to say, is gorgeous. The chain is a beautiful weight. Like this hardware is, serious quality. Yeah, and it doesn't have that funky, like cheap smell, like some hardware that's like less expensive. For me, I like a little weight to my hardware because I think that really says quality. So let's check out the, that might be noisy throughout this video, so sorry. Okay, so it opens right here. So you pull down on this and then you open it like that. And then this is where you can adjust the chain. It's got two more snaps here. And I think from the reviews I've seen of people that have talked about this bag, most people just leave this open. I think it's just intended to help with the structure. And then I'll pull the tissue out here. Okay, so the interior is fabric with a little slip pocket. The fabric feels a lot like um, the similar fabric of what's inside a coach bag, but it's really, really nice. This is such beautiful quality and the, the pebble leather, you can see the texture of that leather. It's really nice and it's got a pocket on the back as well. I don't know that I would wanna put my phone in this back pocket. I think you could, but I feel like it's a little bit tight and I don't know that I'd want that to be stretched out, but you could honestly, like even with it open, it really still maintains its shape and structure. Cause I definitely have a bad habit of kind of walking around with my flat bags kind of like that. But you could also, it's unsnapped right now. Yeah, that's great. It just kind of goes back and you can't even tell that it's unsnapped. That's great. I want to show you guys what fits inside because I'm sure you're all curious. Cause you all have seen kind of the way that I pack my bags in compartments. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Okay, so we're definitely gonna have to weight it a specific way because this bag doesn't stand up on its own. And I'd say from a craftsmanship perspective, this is really, really good craftsmanship. And the leather feels beautiful. The stitching is really, really nice. I wouldn't put it on the 
OCD scale as Louis Vuitton, who like every single bag has the same number of stitches from point A to point B. That's actually part of their authentication process, but it's also just a part of their quality control. I would say that this doesn't look like it has quite that same level of detail, but it's very, very close. For the price, I am very impressed. At the time that I'm buying this bag, it was $350 and $25 for shipping to the US. But I will tell you, if you put two bags in your cart, it's only $30 for shipping to the US. But if you spend, I think if you spend over $500, it's what it looked like to me, then you might have to pay additional customs. So it's honestly better to just take the $25 shipping hit and stay under the $500 mark and not have to worry about paying uh, duties, like additional duties when it's coming into the US. Anyways, let me grab the YSL bag I just showed you and we're gonna transfer stuff to this one. So here's what's in my YSL bag currently. So I've got my key pouch in Damier Ben with my car keys in it. I've got my limited edition with the studs uh, zippy coin purse, although I use it as a wallet. I don't know why they call it a coin purse. It's definitely a mini wallet. I have my mini pochette accessories in Damier Ben. Clearly I'm a Damier Ben girl. Other key pouch in the, I think this one's Damier Graphite, I believe. And then I have my headphones. These are the Jabra Elite Active 65T. These are black black and gold and need to be charged. I also got my husband the navy and gold pair, which are also super cool. And they're waterproof and charge in the case and last longer than AirPods and they're way more comfortable than AirPods personally. Okay, so I've got all my essentials here and then I also grabbed a couple of extra things like a full size wallet and um, my other cosmetic case to try. So let's start with what I think is the heaviest thing. So we'll put the pochette accessories in the back because it's the heaviest thing to try and kind of give it some weight and then i'll put my wallet really it's so spacious it's almost like a mary poppins bag and then my phone stick back there oh, that's still got quite a bit of space and then i can still snap everything let's see what it looks like see if it'll stand up now yeah so it really just needs a little weight in it and now it stands up just fine so that's good one of the reasons why i got rid of my last gray bag was because it was constantly falling over and everything would spill out of it so i don't have a gray bag in my collection right now but i absolutely love this color and gray with gold is like my thing and wow that definitely got heavy i can feel the weight now yeah i can kind of see what people are talking about you can definitely feel the weight on this bag I think it's because the chain is so thin. It's beautiful, but that definitely got heavy fast. And I mean, when I put this same stuff in my push-up Matisse, it doesn't feel this heavy. But then again, this chain, like we talked about, has got some weight to it. This hardware has got some weight to it. And this is full grain leather, not canvas. So it's definitely heavier. So definitely keep that in mind. I think it was Kelsey from Blondes and Bagels mentioned this. So I knew that that was a possibility going into this bag. So I kind of just stacked everything forward. So I've got my phone in the back, my pochette accessories, my zippy coin purse, and my key pouch is all kind of standing. If I wanted to snap it, it still snaps just fine. And then I can very easily fit my sunglasses on the top and still snap everything, no problem. But that's definitely got some weight to it. That thin strap problem, like what I talked about in my never full video, when the strap is thin, it really makes you feel the weight so much more. It's definitely not gonna fit a full size wallet this way. So yeah, I mean, I guess you could, no, full size wallet doesn't fit in this bag. So if you had one of the ones that was that in between size, it would fit in this bag, but this definitely does not fit in this bag. It looks like it would fit this way, but it really doesn't. So that's a no, it can definitely fit large sunglasses in here, but it's gonna take up more of your space and cause that to happen. Um, if you don't have as many small leather goods as I do though, you can just put it this way, but again, it does take up a lot of your space. These would be just fine. These are he sunglasses. Those will fit, those fit this way. Um, if you put them this way, honestly, I think it's gonna be easier to just do, if you have one of these little drawstring cases, I would do that instead for a bag like this if, you have, if you're carrying as much as I am. And then let's see my small toiletry. So this fits, 
Yeah, so that fits in there with room to spare. You definitely could do a, a toiletry case any larger, but that does fit. So you, if you have this, it works. Or if you have the toiletry pouch, it works. But for me, I stay in the pochette accessories more than I switch to this one. I generally only use this one when I'm carrying my Speedy or one of my larger bags, but I have more mini bags right now. And there's a bunch of stuff in there rattling around. So let me pack it back. Let's put everything in here, including my sunglasses. And we're not gonna snap this because most likely I'm not gonna wear it like that. You know, I actually don't mind the phone in the back pocket. I thought that it would stress it too much because I have a case uh, on it and my pop socket but it's actually not bad. My pop socket definitely gets caught if I do it this way. So if I do it this way, the pop socket does get caught on the way out on the little lip right here. So if you have a pop socket, just keep that in mind, but it actually does work right there if I want to. I don't know that I would keep it there all the time. I just shifted this a little bit so that it would close a little easier on the front with my sunglasses inside. It's a little bit more Tetris-y than I would like, even though it looks larger but it is it definitely needs a little tetris but i made it work i really like it i'm definitely a little concerned about the weight so i'm going to mess around with that a little bit i'm gonna put it on in front of my mirror and try wearing it different ways and see how i feel about it because i definitely don't want a bag that i can't go shopping in if it's gonna really bother me i mean i could definitely probably put a different strap on this but then i kind of feel like that would mess up the look like you could put a louis vuitton strap on this but i don't think it would be as pretty i really love the gold chain strap but i don't know anybody that makes something that would work with this that would be different and even though it was inexpensive for the price i do want to love it okay so pollen's signature bag is the numero un this is the numero un mini and then there's the numero un nano the numero un nano has a top handle and then a leather strap instead of a chain strap so i have heard that that one's a little bit more comfortable and it's also a hundred dollars less like i said this one was 350 the numero un nano i believe is 260 right now i might switch to the nano or I might just get a nano in addition right now I was looking at the nano in navy and I think it's so pretty because I don't have a navy bag I've never owned a navy bag but I really like that deep navy that they've got and I think it would be a nice neutral and kind of steer me over into a few more colored bags I love their fashion colors of their bags and I feel like they're inexpensive enough that I could do a colored bag from them it's definitely a contemporary brand that is keeping its value on the resale market, which is good because that's important to me because I want my money to have a good return on investment. If for whatever reason I decided not to keep this and instead of returning it, decided to resell it instead, I don't see myself returning this bag. I really, really like it, but I am definitely concerned about the weight. I mean, I just talked about a bag being too heavy a couple of videos before, and that makes me not enjoy wearing it. And I don't want to not enjoy wearing this bag. I definitely want to order the Numero Un Nano. I think it is so cute. I wish this hardware was on the Numero Un Nano because I think this gold hardware is really what gives it that stunning wow factor and really makes it pop and look so luxury versus the other ones have uh, this piece is leather. And in some cases, the leather's a contrasting color, which is really pretty. Anyway, so that is my new pollen. It's really, really beautiful. And like I said, really affordably priced. Just remember, keep an eye on the fine print on customs charges and shipping charges so that you don't end up paying anything additional. It's definitely worth just paying the $25 to ship instead of ordering multiple bags and having to worry about unknown customs charges. So I definitely recommend that. So if you've got a bag from Pollen or you've been interested in trying it, let me know down below which bag you're interested in or which bag you bought and how you like it so far. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this brand. They are really making a splash on the market and I think their product is really good. I knew the quality was gonna be good from everybody else's reviews, but now I know because I've seen it, I felt it, I definitely would buy another one, I no doubt. Again, I'm gonna kind of see how it goes with the weight, but I would definitely buy another one. This could be dangerous. <laughs> 
because I kind of want all the colors now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like to know more about this bag, if you have any questions that I didn't answer, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll leave a link down below to this bag so you can see more of Pauline's products. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Lux and Wine, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. Definitely hit that bell so you know when I upload next. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.